It's great when you're home, Dad. You're bunking off work. As a young lad, I ask with a smile, not a smirk. Just having some time off, my daddy replies. As a child must have missed all the fear in his eyes. You see, it'd be pointless to tell me and take my enjoyment that the head of the family had lost his source of employment. This'll be great, you can mind us all day. With sad eyes, he smiles and then must look away. Don't tell your mum, lad. She won't understand. But if you keep a secret, you can give me a hand. The official secrets act. We shake hands, it's a deal. A pact between robbers before we go to steal. My small feet scuttle, excited, remorseless. We approach the gas meter like we're special forces. A turn and a twist to my father he robs. A great big grey tin full of shiny ten bobs. Brilliant, I think. If you do this each day, you can miss out your job and you can stay home and play. They argue about bills though, I do find this funny. You must have forgot about our secret money. I burst with frustration. I want mum to see. Don't worry about bills, mum, because 10 bobs are free. Why do they argue when we've got it made? But I cannot inform and I gas me to raid. So I be a child, I'd be seen and not heard of a pact with my best friend and must keep my word. With perspective and hindsight, I now understand. He didn't do it through choice, circumstance forced his hand. See, when you've got young children and money is tight, you can choose between stealing and doing what's right. I'm so proud of my dad, though, for stealing that cash. He looked after his family and thought, fuck British gas. <laughs>